What's up guys? So today we're talking about snatches from the hang, um, different ways to do it. We're talking about the single and double action hip throw. Uh, so this is all about efficiency. Yes, strength is important, but that's not in this video, right? So to contrast this, right, this is, if we're talking about max strength, I'd lift that bar up to my hip, trace down my leg, trace back up to I get to the power position, and then extend and get underneath. Right? That's gonna be, again, the most, like the most powerful, strongest way, the way that you can lift the most weight, right? That's not necessarily what I'm talking about in this video. I'm talking about efficiency in this video. And again, it's kind of moderately heavy loads to relatively light loads, right? Something that we'd see in a workout. So in those scenarios, we wanna stay at the high hang as much as possible because it's just less distance travel, right? If I have to travel down my legs and then back up just to be able to get to the hang, be able to go, again, that's just wasted movement, wasted energy, right? So I'm gonna stay at that high hang and that's gonna be the way to go, right? So if it's a heavier weight, I'm gonna to have to do the double action hip throw where I catch, kind of gain my composure, stand up, and then down and back up, basically a high hang snatch. Right? So that double action. So it'll look something like this. Could be a squat snatch or a power snatch. Now stand up. Right? And that's gonna be the most efficient way if it's kind of a moderate load, right? And you can't do the single action hip throw. If you can do single action hip throw where you go one rep straight into the next, that's gonna be the most efficient because there's no wasted movement of your hips, right? The hips catch and throw, catch and throw, right? It's like doing a pusher where you come down and catch and stand and breathe and then throw it back up versus one right into the next throwing it up overhead, right? So show you next the single action hip throw, one of the most efficient ways that you can move a barbell from the hang for snatches. And again, we can do the squat snatch. So again, we can do that where we, again, come, come from that high hang and power snatch and dip under it, or we can muscle snatch and just turn it over aggressively. Both of those are gonna be fine options. It just kind of depends on load. Um, so again, we could, if it was a super light bar, do neither of those um, single or double action, just go into like a bounce, hang, power clean, something like this, All right? And that is a decent option if you've been practicing and have the volume, if you're strong enough to be able to do that. And three, if the demands of the workout aren't crazy on your grip, right? At some point, your grip's gonna start to fail doing this. So to be able to get that bar back into your hip, and kind of use your hip to cushion, relax your grip a little bit more. This is gonna be able to allow you to move continuously versus that bounce, at some point you might just lose the bar, right? So if the demands of the workout are really high for grip, the single action throw, again, even if it's really light, it's not gonna cost you a ton of time. Um, it's a really good option. Um, so there you go, the single and double action hip throw. Uh, great techniques for cycling snatches from the hand.